Hello, my name is Vikas Dongre. Uh, today we will see a microcontroller 8051 simulation using Kill IDE. <coughs> this topic belongs to the subject embedded system, which is in the sixth semester of Diploma in Electronics. By the end of this video lecture, you would be able to understand various features and options in Kill IDE and the write and simulate a sample program uh, for microcontroller 8051. For this, we will uh, go to the program, open it, and then we will see. So we go to the start menu, and uh, here is Microvision software. This is the IDE of 80 that uh, kills software. So it has many menus like file, edit, view, project, flash, debug peripherals. So, we will go step by step. To begin with, we have to make a new project. So, we come to this project, new macrovision project. We will create a project. Already some project is created. We will have a new project. Uh, we will make a new project in the D drive. Uh, we will give some folder name where we will store the project. So, new folder say write uh, e esy as a folder name go there and here we will have a project named embedded so whatever we do would be stored in the folder esy after we create a project, we have to choose the manufacturer of the IC and the specific IC. So, we will see uh, the, in Kiel there are hundreds of manufacturers, uh, hundreds of uh, possible combinations. So, we will work for Atmel. In Atmel also again there are hundreds of ICs. So, we will choose one IC, say 89LS51. Now, we either can have our independent uh, program or we can work in a template. So, we will better choose a temp, uh, independent program. So, now we are ready with the program source code creation. So, go to file and new, we will create a new file and here we can uh, type some source code like hash include as a header file and type some statements. So, instead of wasting time, we will, I already made a program in a text file, we will copy it and paste into the editor. So, here I can paste the program. So the program is ready. I will remove the header file which I have typed before because it is already there in the program. Now once we made a program, we should save it. Save. So it will be saved in the folder which we have created in the beginning. Now we will give some name to this file, say first dot c. This .c extension is must because in Kill we can either work in the assembly language having extension .a or in the C which has the extension C. So, here we must give the extension C to save. Now, once we have given the proper extension, the color of various text present in the source file changes like include becomes blue, the con constant becomes orange or pink and the comments become greenish. So, in this way we can have a number of file created. I can create one more file and type something and then save it and give the name uh, like say second dot c. So, we can have many more file. 
Now, whatever you want to work with the chosen IC, that file is to be attached to the specific target which we have designed. That is the 812 IC and 8051 is the target. So, we will attach the deposit file, this file to the target by doing this. So, expand this target one and here we have to attach the first C, first dot C. So, we will right click on the source code group one and add the file to the source group one. So, here we will choose first dot C add. Once I add it, you can see here the plus sign. So, if I expand this, you can see that the first dot C is attached. So, so far we have made one project chosen uh, the IC manufacturer, chosen the specific IC, made the program and attach the program of file name to the target. We can attach many more files and then we can compile. For the uh, today's uh, work, we will attach only one file and uh, then we will go ahead. So, now the next part is to compile the source file. For that, we have to go to the project and we have to build the target or press F7 button or we have icon here in the menu screen. So, here you can press the button. Now, in the kill there are number of windows like this. This is the editor window, this is the navigation window, this is the output window. So, whatever happens, uh, whatever process happens that would be shown in the output window. So, once I build it, you can see here build target, compiling, linking and it shows there are 32 bytes of program code and uh, error 0, warning 0. The name given is embedded. This is the project name. Whatever project you make, that name is given uh, to the code generated. So, by this we have uh, converted the C code into the binary code. Now, once the binary code is designed or obtained, then we can go for the simulation of the code. For that we have different menu, that is the debug menu. So, we can do that by pressing the button control 5, control F5 or we have icon given also here. For now as the debug mode is not started, the various options here which are context sensitive are not activated. Once I start, then we get a message that evaluation mode running with code size limit 2k because this is the trial version. So, our program code is just 32 byte which is much less than 2k. So, we can work with this software. So, press ok. Now, once I do that, you can see that the total screen is changed. Now, we are switched to the simulation mode where we can see different windows like uh, this is the program window, this is the assembly language window, this is the obvious 7590FF is the code of the instruction move P1, comma 0FF which is written here P1 is equal to 0FF. This is the C language, this is the assembly language, this is the machine language. All the three types of language we can see in the single screen. Then this is the window for registers. This is the register window. This is known as register window. The content of various registers like R0 to R7, A, B, stack pointer, DPT, RPC and uh, program status word all are shown in this window. Similarly, we can see the memory here. Memory one, you know, we can see. We also need the peripherals where the data would be output it or the data will be taken from there. So, for that we have the peripherals. So, here we have peripherals. We can have interrupt, we can have IO port, serial port, timer. For now, we require P1, P2 and P3 as ports. So, we will activate them. So, this is P1, then this is P2 and then this is P3. So, I got these ports and I adjust these ports so that it can give the proper inputs. Okay, so now we are ready for simulation. Now we can run the program in this mode. So for run we have got you can see now these these various menus are activated. 
all these menus are also available in the taskbar here so we can use them so we can restart we can run or we can do step by step there are number of menus to so run the program once we run the program we can see over here t1 is equal to this in second so this is the time progressing it means that the program is in execution now we can give this what is the program doing it is accepting data from port 1 and port 2 and these two are added together and the output is sent to port 3 this is the basic program for uh, simple understanding so here we will input data to p1 and p2 so initially p1 has got ff p2 has ff so output p3 is also ff once i change the input value say here i am changing d bit t0 of port p1 if i change it i can see immediate reflection in the output which is also 0 p so d0 is 0 same way if i change t1 of p2 again it is changing because ending operation 1 and it is 0 output is 0 if again set it so 1 and 1 and it is answer is 1 so this way we can test the program now this is one more case so f0 and it with 0f so answer is all zeros once again i have a different program different so if i make this like ff and it with ff say ff ff and it with ff is giving me ff so this is how we can test the program now once the program is made we can and once the program is tested we can transfer the code or transfer the binary code into the exit ic by using the flash programmer and we can work on the actual ic so in this kill operation we can type the program we can make the source code we can compile it and we can simulate it and also we can transfer the data to the flash memory in the next uh, video we will see the uh, various different programs and the advanced features available uh, in Kill. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.